Hey everybody, it's Alien. I wanted to show you today this great game I've been playing lately called Undermine here. It's just so good, honestly. It's uh, another roguelike game. It's not super similar to Hades. It has uh, some uh, permanent progression systems similar to Hades, but the combat might feel a little bit more like Zelda, Binding of Isaac. If you've played the game Moonlighter or seen any of that, it plays a little similar to that, but it does have permanent upgrades, and if you die, the run starts all over again, so it's similar to that. But I really wanted to show it here on YouTube just because it's a great game. It came out in se this past September, I think, at version 1.0. And honestly, I'm having a ton of fun of it with it here now already. You can see I've already I put in pretty much 30 hours already on the game. But uh, I wanted to show first on YouTube here uh, what it looks like from a new save file at least. Uh, now, bear in mind, since I've played a good amount, uh, it might not be as easy as it might look right away here. But I figured I'd, I could at least show this to you guys before I start showing actual footage from either the stream or from uh, other content of me playing here. So yeah, I do plan on playing this game a lot more on the stream, so if you have questions or anything, stop by, uh, and uh, I've been splitting my time between Hades and Undermine a good amount here. All right, let's check it out. It might take me a second to remember uh, what's going on here a little bit. All right, so we got a little story introduction. An important task for you, says Arkanos. As you've noticed, this mine is plagued with terrible earthquakes. I need you to delve into the mine and find the source of the tremors. There is another thing. Our blacksmith has gone missing, and without him, the forge lies dormant. If we are to delve deep into the undermine, we will need someone to forge new equipment. Find the blacksmith and the source of the tremors. Now off with you, peasant. Take this key and lock the entry to the mine. Do not fail me. All right, looking good. A book appears to be missing. Pick this up. Artifact discovered journal. Okay, this is where like a lot of information is kept. Keep that journal with you. Refer to it if you ever seek an answer to a question. Okay, all right. I guess, uh, did he just expect me to pick that up or something? Like, I just take things from him and he's okay with it? I'm not sure. Uh, so this is the main hub. Whenever you die or complete a run, this is where you wind up. And uh, it's where you get all your upgrades. It looks very empty and barren right now. But that's uh, that's normal for the moment. You can see there's a lot of rooms and stuff here. There's there's a ton of upgrades in this game. I like it personally. I'm the kind of person that likes a lot of upgrades where maybe if my skill level isn't that high with the game, I can at least get better just through time, trial and error, etc. All right, so let's start our first run here. Now, if you've seen me play Rogue Legacy 2, You'll pro or if you've played Rogue Legacy yourself, you'll probably notice that it takes a while to actually make a good distance into the game. Press A to jump. Jumping dodges enemy tactics. Or attacks, did it say? Alright, so you have this basic swing here, like that, or you have the throw. So you just have a pickaxe, and you can either swing it or you can throw it. The throw deals a little bit less damage, I believe. It's usually a good idea to destroy all objects in a room because they can contain important items and stuff. Press B to drop a bomb. It gives us a little bomb here. Blow that up. It gives us another bomb. Sounds good. I guess I'll keep the bomb. I could blow up more of these rocks, but I don't know why. This is just a tutorial, so it's pretty basic. Press the right button to throw the weapon. So when you jump, it does give you some amount of iframes. It basically makes you invincible for a very, very short period of time. So jumping around can be quite helpful, but it's also kind of hard to uh, control where you're going and stuff like that. All right. Here's one of the main annoyances here. These green, cute little slime things. Yeah, they, they're jerks, basically. They come in and they try to steal your gold uh, it, when the gold is on the ground. So let's just beware of pilfers. They are thieves. They are dirty, rotten thieves. They're the worst of the worst. The worst of mankind. I don't care how cute they look. Um, so yeah, you gotta pick up the gold quickly if you want to uh, not let them steal it. You can also swing and attack them to get them to go away, but they keep coming if the gold's just sitting on the ground. Alright, this is a relic. This is sort of like a uh, boon from Hades a little bit. Chance on hit to chain lightning. So I think it just chains to other foes and stuff. There's no downside to picking up these relics here, really. Good luck, but doesn't. So I think now we start the actual run. So you can see that relic we picked up in the bottom left now, so all the relics we pick up will be there. Again, we wanted to destroy, like, everything. Everything, everything. Come here. So all bushes, all, all rocks, all signs and stuff. 
can s sort of stagger lock some enemies. All right. Yeah, what we do. We have one bomb, as you can see in the top right. We do have a canary friend here. The canary helps us just pick up gold, I believe. That's pretty much their only purpose, but there are more companions you can unlock later that do a little bit more. It does level up. It goes up to level three. We got some health restoration. This is a shop, basically. You can speak to the shopkeep. Would you like to join our loyalty program for 1,200 gold? Well, I don't have anywhere near that amount of gold, my man, so I'm afraid not. We got a potion here. It's a one-time use. Avoid falling in holes. It only lasts a certain amount of time. And we could buy a key. If you look at the little mini-map uh, down here in the bottom, which I made a little bit bigger. So we have zero keys, but you can see we have a locked door. That little blue sign indicates that there's a relic behind that locked door. So I feel like it's worth it to buy that key in order to go get this relic. Alright, what do we got for relics here? Increase health, swing damage, and attack speed. I like that. I'm liking the sound of that. It does a little bit of everything, right? Most relics don't make you, like, super overpowered, but sometimes you can get some really cool combos that can help help you out a lot. I just, like, oh, okay. All right, kill the blue slimes. Sometimes you'll get a little reward for clearing a room. Some gold in these rocks, as you can see. Get out of here. I don't care how cute you look. All right, all right. Oh, beware the traps. Get that. Prioritize things like bombs. The pilfers won't steal the bombs, they'll just steal gold, but... Uh, you might have noticed that the trap was actually dealing damage to the bomb. Yeah, this game can be kind of unforgiving like that. If you accidentally, like, swing at bombs or keys that are sitting on the ground too much, it'll actually destroy them. It's funny, the f it's, it's kind of funny, but it's also devastating when something like that happens for the first time and you figure it out. Okay, we got our first secret here. So first, we're gonna peep this skeleton. Nice, drop the bomb. Sometimes they can drop a bomb or a key in this chest. Wow, double key. Very nice. Not looking bad so far, I gotta say. All right, you'll notice this wall is sparkling. That means that it's a secret passage. So we can use a bomb, of which we now have a good amount to get through there. And we got a secret room in here. Looking good. All right, we got a ham. Fortunately, the ham is not very helpful. It's just a it's just a heal. But one of the nice things is I can leave it there, and if I wasn't done with this floor, we could come back and get it later. Um, so if I open up this window now, you can see there's a little meat symbol in the mini map to just to remind you that it's sitting there still. But I like that aspect. You can leave items behind. You can't leave gold behind on the floor though. But all other items, I believe, you can leave there in case you want to come back. This is definitely the kind of game that rewards exploration. Kind of taking your time looking at it all. So this uh, takes us down to the next level, but let's uh, finish exploring this part here. What are these mushrooms? I don't think I've ever seen those. The game did get an update just a, like not even a week ago, so I might not have seen everything, honestly, lately. I'm gonna blow this up and see what's in here, because I don't remember this. Oh, okay, okay, this is an NPC. Hey there, friend, my name is Waylon, and I'm the blacksmith, was just down here picking some mushrooms when one of those quakes caved the entrance in. It's cool, I got a prescription from the apothecary for these. Really appreciate you blasting me out of here. Drop by my forge if you find yourself up top. Alright. So, Wayland, before I suggest buying that pickaxe on the rack over there, did a fine job on that one. See you again soon. That's a blacksmith, and he will upgrade... You can give them gold to upgrade things like... This is a blueprint. So now we can just, I think, discover this? Or get it crafted, or both, in a run? You can Now I can discover it in a run, and maybe now I can also craft it at the blacksmith? Actually, a good question. Free swing damage. I'll pay 75 gold for that. So yeah, that's what the blacksmith does. He'll upgrade things like swing damage, throw damage... Swing speed, throw speed, and, like, max health and stuff like that. All right, on to the next floor. All right, just start destroying everything. There's a fish there. Wow, a ham. So ham restores, like, a lot of health. 
gonna leave it there on the ground. There's actually a setting, if I remember. Take on food consumed at full health. Wait, it's checked off. All right, so we're good. I don't want to consume food if I'm already at full health. Okay, I think I'm noticing a little secret we can use up here. Oh, oh almost got hit. All right, the little nests are making rats spawn. I'm just taking my time to get there, though. No need to rush it. You can see a little red outline coming up on the rats when they're about to attack. All right, see how there's two torch-like things here? You can light those up, and sometimes you'll uh, get, like, a chest or something. This temporarily gives us a buff where our attack lights a fire. Okay, apparently. <laughs> apparently I was wrong about that one. A lot of times there's like little secrets like that. Oh no! These rooms are my vice, to say the least, because it is straight gambling. Straight gambling. So I can pay 15 health to get a prize. A lot of times it's not a good prize. However, we left uh, two big things of health on the left side over there. Uh, so we can go back and get those. All right, that got us some gold. 100 gold's not bad. Keep it coming. Nothing. You can see the price goes up in health every time. Oh no, when do I stop? Oh, oh, oh I could have cooked that. Okay, that's bomb size. That's a blessing. That's really good. So our bombs are going to explode bigger. Okay, remember how I have that fire buff from earlier? Quick, go back. No, don't pick it up. So now if I hit it just once, it'll cook the food and now it restores more health. All right, realistically, I should not gamble anymore. We are practically back to full health. I feel like you often actually get... Uh, screwed over pretty badly at those health gambles. Wow, another ham. Okay, well, with another ham, I guess... <laughs> this is what happens. This is this is what the game does to me. A little bit more gold. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Ooh, nice. We got a bomb from killing that guy. Okay, I really should not do any more. I really shouldn't. Okay, okay. I almost said it again. I can't cook this one because we that fire buff ran out. Yeah, our health is lower than I'd like now, I'd say. But that's okay. Oh, I think. I hope. We'll find out. Unlock. Take a key. Oh, requires a special key. Don't bother. It's locked tight. Leave you here, you're telling me, Dodson? Let that wizard bamboozle me into coming down here and look where it got me. You help me out, out of here, I can help you out too. I have some useful skills being a bomb smith. Okay. So he's another NPC we can rescue and he'll go back to the surface. Spend a key and unlock the shop here. Blanket. Puts out fires immediately but requires water charges. I kind of don't like it. That's a relic. I don't know if it's worth it. Yes, you can catch fire and that's not good. I don't know. I'm going to try to skip it to see if we can play the long game a little bit more. I'll buy that health, though. So it is important not to spend more gold than you think you need a lot of times. Oh. Oh, this is like a mini boss. I kind of forgot about him. Oh! Okay. It, okay, we need to focus. To say the least. Ooh, he got me. Whoa! Escape. Let's try bombing him. Takes a good amount of damage from getting bombed. Oh! He's immune when he's rolling, it looks. It's hard to dodge that a little bit. Looks like his attack pattern's kind of predictable. Okay, now he actually did something a little bit different than I thought. Now he's doing it like three times in a row. Oh, right onto him. All right, he's almost dead. Come on. There we go. Got him. Rock pile mimic. I think when I first played this game, though, I'm pretty sure I did die the first time I saw that guy. I can't quite remember now, honestly. So if you decide to pull the trigger on this game, don't feel bad. Berserker's pendants. These are just more blueprints, so more things that can be unlocked, essentially. There's that key, I assume, to get that guy out of there. Come, my friend. Dodson. Oi. Thanks for that, friend. Okay, I'll stop. Very glad to be out of that cage. I'm headed back to the top. Don't trust that wizard, but go nowhere else. Make sure to pay me a visit. I've created those firecrackers you call bombs. That's good. 
nothing else in that shop besides an extra bomb and that blanket. I'm still gonna skip the blanket. Alright, if I if I catch fire, if fire ends up killing me this run from not owning that blanket, uh, I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame. Bramble vest return damage but amplify. So it's like having thorns or whatever you might call it. Enemies will also take damage. All right, down we go. Floor number four. So every fourth floor, there is a boss. So we will be facing a boss at the end of this floor. All right, so this is like, we can put a relic down and if we find this same room again, we can get the relic in a future run. Uh, so I can leave our relic here if I feel like I'm about to die, or if maybe the relic isn't useful for a particular build. Um, I can leave one here and hopefully get it in a future run or something like that. I'm just gonna keep everything we got for now, though. Alright, we got a chest here. I have to use a key to get to it. Uh, I have to use a bomb to open. I only have... I didn't have a lot of keys left, so I did think about it. Wow, we have a lot of bombs now, though. That's like a triple bomb bag. All right, well, we use a bomb here. Oh, bombs can't hurt me. I have to be careful. My own bombs can't hurt me, definitely. That's a potion. I'll have to look at what that one does, but we'll probably want to use it for the boss. I can only carry one potion right now. Temporarily increases health. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, all right. Onward. Attack. Swing in. Alright, alright, not bad. Get all this gold. Yeah, the, our gold we're gonna use later on to do use permanent upgrades. So I think I started to talk about that. But I didn't get to finish. You so that's why you don't want to spend too much gold in the middle of a run, really. Alright. We need a key to get through this door. We have a bath cat here. Madam, I'm going to have to kindly ask you to turn around. The dungeon is off limits. Toad vine, dot, dot, dot. Okay. So basically we have to go kill the boss to advance there. Ooh, I don't like those enemies. The little worm enemy there. They're lurkers, that's what I call them at least. I don't actually know their names. Oh, a hit. It can be difficult to dodge, I feel. Especially when a room is has a lot of other stuff going on. Not feeling very good about how much health we currently have. Only got one key left, sadly. Oh, there's some traps in this room. Oh, he got me, really? The health just keeps going down, don't it? Swing him. Come on, get him. Oh, he's taking some hits. Oh. Ooh, okay. I can't cook it. I always have to think about it now. That's one of the more advanced strategies, just trying to think how I can get maximum health out of food and things like that. Alright, so I think I used my key to unlock the shop here on the left. That's what that little symbol is on the mini-map. That's an interesting potion. Duplicate all basic items in the room. So if there's, like, a key on the ground and I use this potion, it'll, uh, put put a second key on the ground. That could be good. I don't think it works with health. I don't think. Well, I definitely need a key. I'll spend it on that. I am going to skip that for now. I will try to keep in mind that it's for sale in here, though. I'm not too confident since I know we're about to fight the boss. I don't, I don't know how confident I am that I'll actually kill the boss on the first run here, but we'll try our darndest. Ooh, yes. Give me some food. Okay. Let's see what this relic has for us. Feel the effects of a potion for longer. Not exactly what I have in mind. Oh, it drops a potion, too. Swap my items around. So this swaps your bombs for keys, basically. So I'd wind up with seven keys and zero bombs. Yeah. <laughs> That could actually be a really useful potion. It's just not good right now. 
Um, okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll drink this max health potion. And quickly grab that. Since we're ready to move on here. I could start using bombs to blow stuff up to see if there's, like, health in rocks and stuff, but I'll try to just go. I'll try to use some bombs here. Ooh, spooky. All right, here we go. This could be very challenging. This reminds me so much of Link to the Past. I don't remember the boss's name or anything, but Zelda Link to the Past. There was, like, a sandworm boss or something like that. Oh! I'm sure there's a lot of games with uh, bosses like this, but that's the one that comes to mind for me. Oh! Gotta okay, find a easy way to do some bombs. Oh, I have to attack the butt. Okay. Dang it. We're not dealing a lot of damage. Start to get swing in here. Whoa. Try to put a bomb down. Oh, I accidentally hit it. I kind of forgot that that would happen. All right, so he spawns these stupid things. They're not that bad. Really. Woo! And he does the spin tech. It's gonna be a long battle. Dang it, miss. Oh! Didn't expect them to come from over there. Try to drop a bomb on him. Did 34. Is it even worth trying again, I wonder? Two swings deal more than that, potentially, so I don't think I'll bother, really. Alright, spinning! Try to get him a little bit of damage as much as possible. Okay. Come on, get up! Oh, I can't believe I missed those. Okay, that's fine. Face around the butt. Get him in the butt! Oh! Escape! Is he spinning? No, nope. I thought he was gonna spin. Oh, there he goes, though! Got me by surprise there. Oh, another hit. Not much health left on us. One or two hits left, I think. Yes, not even a half health on the boss. It's gonna be tough! Whoa, whoa! Give me by surprise a bit there. Get away. Get him. Nice, nice damage in there. And then, I'll be shocked if we survive this one, honestly, now. Okay, gonna come back from over there. Oh, I missed. Whoa. Watch where the head's going. Trying to get rid of this. Oh no! We're close though. Might be able to get it out. Come on, baby. Go ahead. I think this move is not. Once you once you've seen it, it's not very threatening. Okay, that's fine. Oh oh oh. oh. Kind of risky of me to go around him like that. Uh oh, getting a lot of spawns here. Oh, he's like one hit away. Oh no! Come on, get him! Get him! He's so close. Oh no, I missed. Come on. Oh, we did it! I think we did it. This is a tight knit battle. <laughs> All right, I definitely didn't beat this boss on the first try. I, I remember this boss whooping my butt several times over. All right, we got some nice boop blueprints here. We'll find out about those when we get back. We got a key. That's probably how we get to the next area. 
Another blueprint, Selt's egg. And a fragment, Selt. I'm gonna guess the boss's name was Selt. I actually don't remember what the fragments do, honestly. Okay, and then we spawn right up here, so we can advance down to the next area immediately. Do you have, like, something to say about this? Oh my, you have a key to the dungeons. Go, go right on in, ma'am. Oh, of course not, you let me through. Where did you get that key? Just go right on through. You're not going to like what you find in there, though. Man, Toadvine! You ain't got much chill, my man. I'm gonna bomb this. Hmm, I was really, really hoping to find some health in there, but we did not. We wouldn't normally want to waste bombs like that, but considering I'm at 15, I think it was worth it. Alright, on to the next area. Okay. The further in you get, the more gold you, uh, you get, too. Gold drops more plentifully. So I definitely want to make sure we get all the gold. You might notice, I think we got some purple currency from killing the boss. That's called a uh, thorium. Dungeon map. A hooded figure appears in the corner. Huh? Can't go up there yet. You have to unlock something, I believe. I, don't know. I think the map just... Not positive exactly what the purpose of the map is. Oh my gosh. I feel like this room could kill me. Whoa! Oh! oh no! No, not like this. It's very like me to die from falling, of all things. <laughs> oh man, that stinks. Oh well. This is the end of Rian. Rest in pieces. Let the stove lit at home. All right, so you don't keep all your gold when you die. Um, thorium is another currency for permanent upgrades. Just kind of a recap here. So right now I only keep 50%, but there are some upgrades to make that better. And that's probably one of the upgrades you want to get pretty soon, I'd say. Uh, oh, okay, right, that's the black... This is showing us that the blacksmith is uh, coming back. Rien is no more. We are now Robeb. Bringer of peace, commander of all. All right, we have Echo Blast for sale here. Upgrade your bombs to blow up new kinds of rocks. We don't have enough gold for it. Increase our bomb damage. I kind of don't love that upgrade, I gotta say. I'm being told to get in here immediately. Let's go take a look. We've returned, someone new, very well. Peasant, I have gathered some special items that may help you in the undermine. Feel free to use the gold you might. You mind to pay for them, they will, of course, remain company property. Do not fret, though, your canary will ensure they are passed on in case you meet your end. Salt shaker, increase effectiveness of food. That's pretty good. Echo's foot, pick up gold at a distance. Not bad. Keep the names and health of your enemies. Also not bad. Plus, that's only 100 gold. I feel like I'll just take it. Put them on, right? Fine. Uh, let's hold off on that one. Let's go visit the blacksmith real quick. Forge. Yeah, here you can upgrade health, swing damage. There's that uh, gold pickup turn. Anyway, thanks for giving me a hand out of the cave. I've cleaned up the forge and have some new wares on display. Check them out. All the finest quality, I promise. If you find something, I'll supply it to you and all your buds, you know, in case you, well, you know. Plus, I can craft relics. If you come across any blueprints in the mines, bring them my way. So they can... I think he can craft a relic for one-time use. So these are some uh, blueprints that we found on our way. And we could craft it, but it's a one-time use thing, so I get it on the next run, but... And you can only do one at a time, I believe. Um, so you get it on the next run. Uh, but that's it. And that purple currency called Thurium, Thorium, is uh, kind of rare, so I'm going to hold off on that for sure. I definitely want to stock off on that for now, but... Yeah, here are some of those permanent upgrades. I definitely want Lose Less Gold on Death. 100%, because there's going to be a lot of deaths. And it now comes back. I probably just get it again, honestly. It's just gonna be about farming some gold for a while. Hmm. I'll even do it one more time. It's fine. And then over here we have max health, I think. Yeah, that's good. I like that. And then increase range damage. Sure. I can afford it. Might as well. I do hold over my gold, so if I start another run, it's not like I lose all this gold. It just carries with me to the next one. But yeah, that's it for now. 
Yeah, I mean, that's Undermine in a nutshell. When you start from a new game, I definitely plan to play this game a lot. I'm having so much fun with it, really. Um, they just came out with some free DLC for it, and it is just is very worth the price. I think it might even on, be on sale now on Steam. It's not an expensive game. 20 bucks or less, even, potentially. Uh, so check it out if you guys are interested. I'll leave a link in the description in case you uh, want to grab it. But yeah, if you want to see me play it live, come on over to the stream twitch.tv slash alien and yeah i'll see you guys later bye bye now hey there i bet you're wondering where you can find more of this kind of action well you're in luck you can go to www.dampdad.com and catch more of this live oh, wow. every sunday monday wednesday and friday starting at 12 p.m eastern time i'll see you there oh.